Right now at 5.30, the government shutdown is potentially looming. How Congress is scrambling to try to reach a deal before the September 30th deadline. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. As the clock ticks down to midnight Saturday, lawmakers are working to come up with a solution. And as CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports, New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer says he's taking on those on the far right. Congress is in crisis mode today, trying to pass four short-term spending bills to keep some parts of the government open. If the far-right ultra-extremists in Congress have their way and a short-term funding bill isn't passed, the federal government will shut down, jeopardizing America's public safety and our national security. Democratic New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer is slamming far-right House Republicans who openly admit they will not support any bills to keep the government open that don't contain dramatic spending cuts. The ultra-right, they will hurt our veterans, they're going to hurt our military, they're going to hurt our children, our families, our seniors, and we can't afford that. According to the White House, a shutdown would mean at least 4 million federal workers won't get paid. Food safety inspections could be delayed. And even cancer research could be stalled. Social security checks would still go out, but no new cards would be issued. And some federal workers, like law enforcement officers and firefighters, would be faced with a tough decision. We're going to ask those guys to come to work, but not receive a paycheck. I think that's a big ask. But you know what? They'll show up and they'll continue to do the job they love. Some Republicans say a deal is still within reach. It's critical that the House and House Republicans present something that uh, respects taxpayers, that presents to the Senate our best offer, which is, uh, we hope, uh, to drive down federal spending, secure the border, uh, and ensure that we respect the, the people paying the bills. A government shutdown is, is in no one's interest. The deadline to avoid a government shutdown is Saturday at midnight. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. President Biden jumped into the discussion today, saying the speaker has to do his job. Meanwhile, former President Trump is is behind hardline Republicans posting on social media that unless you get everything, shut it down.